We've shown you how to find and select a contest on FanDuel, and now we're going to show you the drafting process. While the rosters and salary caps will change between sports, the process is similar. So find a contest and click on enter. You'll then land on the drafting screen. You have the title of the contest up top. You have when the contest starts and the date it starts on. You have the full rules and scoring, which you can click on and see the various elements involved in this contest. You have the entry fee, the salary cap for the roster, the multi-entry, you can add a thousand entries. It's a guaranteed prize pool. That means that it doesn't matter if the contest fills, it's gonna run and people are gonna be paid. It'll also show you the games that consist in this contest. So all the players you draft will be from these games only. It shows you the date and the time and your lineup will lock on this date and time. You can't change any future players once this time and date hits, so it's important. Get to know your scoring in FanDuel. It's a little bit different. You wanna know each site scoring that you're playing on. You can see the people that have entered. If it's a smaller contest, this can be very helpful. You can see, you can click on someone and see their history. If you were playing this guy head to head, you know he's a strong MLB player. He plays MLB a ton. Whereas if you saw him in a college basketball game, you wouldn't be that afraid because he hasn't played before. So use this advantage, use this to your advantage and do some research. Prizes, this breaks down the prize pool for the tournament. So you can see, if you scroll to the right, you're gonna see what place gets their money back or even double their money. And you can also look at the ratio of prize positions paid out versus entrance in the tournament. It's definitely an important aspect to look at. So back to the drafting screen. You can see the number of entries, the total no entries allowed, uh, the entry fee, the total prize pool, and the entry max. You can select the various games and it will filter the players below to only display those games. So if you have a certain game you're interested in, you click on that game and you can find those players quickly. Otherwise, you can leave it on all and you can use the search bar to find players using your search. All it does is match players to the text you put in the search. To the left here, you have tabs. It's just sorting once again, all your players, quarterback, running back, wide receiver, tight end. Fandle still does have kicker. We were hoping they'd get rid of it this year, but they've kept it, and defense. So you can use all these sorting filters to find the players you like, you can click on these little notes here. It will pop up various news. It's provided by Rotowire. It's a trusted source. You can click this view all player news for more information. You can also click on a summary. It'll give you the season statistics, the game logs. So they have some information here to help you draft. Once you're ready to select a player, you simply click plus. I'm just gonna go through a few of these and it automatically adds the player to your screen. I do like how they have their player pictures. It, it adds a little bit of flair to the screen. I really like the usability of, of FanDuel's drafting screen. It's easy to use. If you wanna remove that player, you simply click on the minus and it will take that player off. So I'm just gonna fill up a roster for you just to demonstrate what it looks like once you submit your team. As you're submitting players, you can see your salary remaining will change up here and it also gives you your average per player that you have remaining. So that's helpful. So you can see you have $6,700 left. And there we go. There's the full lineup. Also, FanDuel does allow you to import a lineup. Uh, we can go through that in a second. It also has uh, the option to enter using your FanDuel player points. It also has a download option where you can download all the players into a CSV and look at them at once. It has a legend where it describes each of the icons you see above. So once we click enter, it'll take a moment, but you can see all your contests. This is your contest screen. Once again, it'll tell you when it starts. You can enter additional contests and I'm gonna, and you can also export your contest. So it's a super easy process. I'm gonna take you back to the drafting screen for a second. If you wanted, you could import a lineup and what that means is that it'll take any existing lineups you have and you can import them into a particular contest. So 
it's not an import where you can take a lineup from a CSV and import it up. You can only import the lineups you've already created. Overall, super easy process, really like the interface. You shouldn't have any problems with it.